Hey everybody, welcome to the Player's Take. I am your host Justin DeSimone and this is a let's play of Brigandine, The Legend of Renersia, my Republic of Gaimul playthrough, episode 21. These are going up every other day on YouTube, so if this is your first time listening, or watching rather, check them out. Check out the playlist, we've got 20 episodes before this that you can check out, and then we've got a few more coming every other day from here on out. So, last time we left off, we had conquered the continent, and we... Uh, we were getting ready for Endgame here, so <clears throat> I've done a lot of things off screen, uh, a lot of questing, uh, you can probably tell by the year, uh, in the season, <laughs> I've done a lot off screen, uh, I probably spent almost like two in-game years doing questing, uh, I hadn't really been able to do very much questing in the regular, uh, conquest portion of the game, so I've spent some time doing questing, uh, rearranging my teams and getting ready for these, this first wave of Endgame fights. Um, and uh, I'll go through and show you guys the primary team. So we got four teams. Um, these are not set in stone. They're going to move around probably based on the, uh, the next fights. But we've got Patricia here, uh, Conrad, and Ball. Uh, and they have a full allotment of green, uh, mostly green units, some neutrals, um, and a couple, you know, the Fenrir here, and then the Demon, which aren't green. But uh, mostly green because we are fighting a uh, pretty much exclusively, actually I think it is exclusively blue, and then a little bit of white with these unicorns here, uh, pretty much blue uh, enemy setups here, so, um, and that is the same for the rest of these as well, this is a red one, uh, mostly red units, uh, red or neutral for the most part, so uh, leaders are red, we got a wizard, uh, a couple of vikings, and then uh, the troops I've got here, I've got uh, Sugar with blue, uh, a bunch of blue units. Uh, Kane with a bunch of blue units. And then uh, Diana with a bunch of blue units as well. So uh, we got that. Uh, then we got two more here. Two more squads. Uh, two more fights as well. So we got a green group here. A lot of green units. And then I have my red team here, which this team is probably going to wipe the floor with uh, their fight. But uh, this is Eliza, Kate, and Mua uh, with a bunch of red units and some neutrals. Um, for the most part, and then we've got one more group over here. Um, this is the black and white uh, group. Uh, a mixture of black and white units for the most part. And I have my own black and white uh, unit allotments. So uh, this fight will probably be the hardest one, I'd say, uh, for the most part. But uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, take it from there. So I've already got everybody set to go to dispatch. Um, we're not doing any other questing really uh, I think I can probably yeah why not I can just send everybody here I don't really feel like do dealing with the rest of that right now but um, all right so let's go ahead and commit and then we'll see who's first let's go let's do this I'm excited I have not done one of these battles before it's gonna be Darian's team the one I said that was gonna be the hardest so they are 4,000 CP higher than their opponents so it's not too bad we'll see uh, we'll see if they can handle it but this is going to be the hardest one because they do not have a defensive advantage against the uh, black and white because that is, uh, you know, that's not how black and white work in this game. So, <clears throat> let's see. Okay. They are separated. Or we're separated. And they aren't. So, that's going to be interesting to deal with. Okay. All right, and then, uh, yep, this is a, a new mechanic for these fights. These little distortions that are on the ground, I will show you guys here in a second. Yeah, so there, you can see these charming anomalies here. Uh, there's a few of them. Um, if you step on them, your unit will get charmed. Whoever steps on them will get charmed. So uh, this is bad news in this first fight. Don't want to step on these. Kind of want to force the enemy to step on them if I can. Uh, actually, that would be preferable. So um, the f later fights, I believe, get different ones, um, different types of anomalies, and there are treasure anomalies that start popping up in the tier two fights uh so that we'll be getting as well so all right i'm gonna move forward guys get prepared for combat and then i will rejoin you here once uh, i'm fighting the enemy all right we're back guys um i didn't move very far but the <laughs> ai attacked me with a couple of their elementals so uh i gotta get darian up in this fray here so let's let's do that let's get you up here let's move you here <coughs> uh you can go here Mr. Lich. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you've probably seen this, too. I have some creatures I didn't have before. Uh, so, yeah. I have a couple of these liches, actually. 
<coughs> um, I got them uh, through questing. Um, got fairly lucky with some draws uh, with that. And then I got a bunch of Lizard Lord uh, upgrades, as well as dragon ones. Uh, so I have a number of ancient dragons as well. None in this party, but you'll see them in the, uh, the coming battles. So... <coughs> All right, so we got that. Yep, these guys can move twice too, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, pretty awesome, actually. Um, all right, let's uh, let's get started here. Let's see what we can do. So we got that's a decent breath, not the best. I think I might just focus this elemental down. Think we'll start. Think we'll start there. Let's do that. Yeah, 247, one damage in return. Marcosius is a beast, dude. Like, I'll show you guys the stats real quick. Uh, I got him... Ooh, very nice. Level up. Two. Take that, of course. Um, I've got him fully kitted with three-star armor. This is true for almost every one of the leaders I'm going to be using today. But uh, look at his defense. 184. And this dude has 30% magic resistance as well. So, uh, Marcosius is... A beast. He's probably borderline unkillable. Like, <laughs> I'm not even kidding about that. So, um, all right, let's get this guy here. That's a kill. Take it. <clears throat> this battle I am expecting is not going to be too hard. Uh, even even this one, the one I thought would be the hardest. Um, I think most of these battles uh, should be fairly easy in this first go around, uh, since I've gotten so many items. But I need to. After these are done, I'm going to be doing some grinding because I need to prepare for the second round of battles, which are much, much harder. So um, they are going to be uh, very challenging. So let's see. What can we do here? Um, I say we move Leanne. You're already pretty low. I don't love that. She is fragile, man. It's the unfortunate part of these witches, but... Uh, let's put you here. Nothing can really hit you, so you'll be fine there. And then we'll get the lizard man up here. Take a swing. Yep. <coughs> Take a swing with you. And you missed. Very nice. And then we'll get the Simurg up in here as well. 212. Yeah, that's fine. I think I want the lizard to get the experience. He's level 10. Uh, he's the one I captured from, uh, I believe this is the one I captured from uh, Norzalio in one of the final battles. Yep. So we'll get him the experience on that. It's hopefully a level. Make him look pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Those stats are really good for a level 10 lizard, man. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll get you up here. Very good. And then you can come up here and just kind of protect Leanne in case something comes around. So, all right. Let's see what they do. Veil. She has wasted, like, all of her mana so far. It's her third turn. She's used two halos and a veil. I, I have a feeling she has enough left for maybe a heal. Like, that's probably it. So, nice. I need every level I can get here. Every level. Yep. Vacuum uppercut. Really? You didn't do the pushback? Dude, that leader is in trouble. Very nice. These angels, though, and the demons. I gotta deal with them. They're gonna be tough. Okay. Darian's up first. He is gonna come in. Probably gonna bring him up this back line. See what we can do here. Um, yeah, that's fine, actually. That's perfect. Yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, look at all those black orbs. This dude is just broken. Every item he has is black, has black orbs, so, yeah, he's got a ton of orbs, like, he's gonna be doing bonkers damage to some of these enemies, the white ones in particular. But even the ones with black orbs, they don't resist, so even they're gonna be taking a lot of damage, uh, here, so. Alright, let's get you up here, I really wanna put you, yeah, you'll put, I'll put you here, you're not as tanky, and then the Lizard Lord can, uh, take up this top side. He should be able to, oh, that's right, I could've attacked, oh well. I gotta get used to that. I've not used these guys very much um, in this game, so. Alright, let's see. What do we want to do with this squad? Yeah, this is a problem, man. I'm fighting them on a bad front here. Um, Marcosius. I really want them to come through the water at me. So I'm gonna put Marcosius in the front here. And then we are gonna move the dragon 
over here. Yeah, I want to set that breath up. So take that, and then the angel. Mr. Angel can go. I would. I really want to put an, the angel here, but that nightmare is in the way. So for now, that's a meadow. Hmm. Meadow. Meadow. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put you here for now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then uh, you can come here right now. Alright, and then we've got we've gotta do some damage here, so I definitely need to move some things, for sure. We're gonna start with this. Yep. Good. Good miss. It's perfect. Um, and then you... Let's see. Do I want to keep you here? Because you're going to get hit by... Man, you're going to get hit by a lot if I leave you there. Hmm. It's a tough choice. Yeah, we're going to bring you back. I need the Lizard Lord to be my tank over here. Yes. Very nice. Good crit. Hopefully we'll get a miss. Nope. Okay. Fine. It's okay. We'll throw a heal on him. Need to keep everybody maxed out, so... Uh, yeah, that's good. Very good. And then Leanne, you can also throw a heal on your Simurg. Yep. <clears throat> okay, and then the elemental. Um, do you have... You don't. Okay. I have... There's one elemental I have that has a uh, hit and run, <laughs> which is really OP for an elemental, but uh, I don't know what to do with you. Uh, that's actually kind of tough. I kind of want to bring you... No, I just... I can't put you in Divine Ray range like that, you know? Uh, we'll start here. Yeah, do that. We gotta take these angels out. They are a problem. Okay, let's see what the AI does. Heal on the dragon, of course. Holy word. Okay. They're probably all gonna do that. The four units in range. So, so stupid, man. Yeah, that was obvious. That was an easy breath opportunity. Alright. You're gonna do holy word, of course, too. You have a little bit more in range. Not doing a lot of damage, though. You went for the uh, li lizard again. Alright. That dude's dead. If I want to kill him next turn, I easily can. Okay, good. It went for the Simurg. Thank you. I was worried it would go for the Lizard Lord. Alright, I think we're okay here. And are you going to Holy Word, too? You are going to Holy Word. My god. What, is it going to hit three? Three units? That's terrible. That is so bad. And you're gonna breath through your own units. Man, that's desperate. Dimension? Oh no! Oh! Oh, that would have been real bad. Oh, that percentage. I hope that was- that probably wasn't very high, but... Okay. They hit us hard. They definitely hit us hard. They did some damage to us. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do here? Oh, I think I want to get this, uh, Lich a kill. Yes, excellent. Absolutely. Go for that. <clears throat> and Darian's not in range of any hardcore magic. Like, no two-space magic, so he's okay there. We'll get you the kill. Very good. Okay. Very nice. Two levels. Love that. Um, alright. And then we'll get the Lizard Lord... Uh, you come up here and hit this demon, actually. 215. Is it worth it to go for the kill? Let's see. What can you do? You don't have any magic left. You have enough for a divine ray, but no one's in range. So you're probably going to end up healing. Uh, you have enough for divine ray, you have enough, and you have enough. So, I actually think he's perfectly safe. Go ahead and go for the kill. On the demon. Excellent. 
We're taking out key units here, and that's very important in this one. Um, Alright, move you here, I'd say. I really want to get the angel... Hmm. Actually, it's a good question. I gotta be careful with the angel. One, two, three, four. It's not a great holy word, but... Whatever, it works. Uh, we'll put you there, and then you can go here. Yep, that's fine. All right, and then Marcosius. Let's see, we got the Seraph. Um, area heal would actually be very good right now, but let's see what Holy Word does. 108, 87. It's good damage. Pretty good damage. Oh, he's got the uh, magic resistance right now, too. Got to keep that in mind. Uh, and he's the A squad, right? So if I kill him, I'm going to get rid of two ghouls, or two uh, revenants, rather. And the, one Archangel and one Angel. And then this battle will basically be won, essentially. So... Hmm. Yeah, do it. Good. And then you can throw a heal on... Yeah, definitely. Throw breath this way. Yep. Let's see what Holy Break does. 290. Oh my gosh. Or we could do a Divine Ray on something. That's a kill. Oh my god, that's almost a kill. Holy crap. Man. Kosius is a beast. Hmm. Or I could just kill the champion outright with judgment. Probably. Let's see. 334? No, not a kill. Straight up. Um. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I mean, I want to I want to get experience, but I really I, I shouldn't I can't play this too risky Nice. Oh my god. That's so ridiculous And then we'll do let's see you have area heal right you do have area heal so that is definitely gonna be your turn Yeah Very good All right, mr. Elemental can you kill anything? Besides the leader, obviously. Uh, 136, no, you can't, so... Well, you can probably kill... Can you kill this? You can kill that, okay. Excellent. Uh, yeah, go for that. Good. Gotta maximize that EXP gain. That is a really nice elemental. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy good. Uh, and then you... My friend, I would love to halo you, but I can't afford to do it. I gotta, gotta focus on healing with my uh, Pegasus. Awesome. Man, this guy is gonna be a monster. Hmm. Yeah, they're almost... Wow, they're like... They're almost done here. Like, they legitimately might, might be done. One eighty seven, perfect. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna throw a heal on something. Um probably the Simurg. He's the weakest. Yeah, he's the weakest in the bunch. Okay, <coughs> and then who's next? Um get you here. Actually, no, that's a bad call. That puts him into double Divine Ray range, which is no good. No bueno. 164. I think I'm just going to wait. Stand by. <laughs> Loop heal, huh? Okay. Hey, man, whatever works for you. That one's retreating. Veil. What? Okay. They really like that spell. Oh. 
All right, I got this in the bag. We're gonna kill everything but the leaders, and then then kill the leaders. All right, let's see. Darian, what can you do with a curse, dude? How much damage? Zero, because they put a, a thing on him. Of course. Uh, we'll throw you here. Let's see. 363. That is crazy. That's crazy. That is so strong. Okay, I think I want the Lich to get this kill. Probably. So, let's see if we can facilitate that. Yep, easy. Those orbs, man. They're crazy. <clears throat> there we go. Oof. That is going to be a very formidable lich uh, at the end of this. All right, let's see. You got nothing. You're done now. And you're the only one with magic left. Okay, so that's easy, man. Easy. Throw you here. Let's see, 228. Very nice. Okay, Arcosius is up. Let's see. Um, let's get the Archangel up here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then you can throw a heal on the dragon. Can you move up? Can you move up. Then I gotta move you up for sure. You can throw a heal on the lizard man. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, and then you're gonna get try to get this kill. Yeah. <laughs> this lizard lord is gonna be a beast look at him 90 strength 80 agility it's excellent and then you're gonna come over here and take a nice little hit on the leader and that ghoul. Good. Okay. Yeah, they've got nothing, man. They have no, they have no means of combating me now. Um, all right, let's uh, let's start with you. We'll throw a divine ray at something. Um, yeah, sure, the unicorn. We'll give it to Darian. Yep, we'll give him the kill. Goodbye. All right, and then we're gonna get the Revenant this kill, hopefully. Yep, 168, and then we'll do it again, and then the Revenant should be able to kill that <sighs> pretty easily. Okay, now you get over here and take your well-earned kill, sir. Wow, even the angels doing a lot. Seraphs are cool, man. I like them. They're a cool unit. Okay. 
Okay, we got it. Lizard Lord another kill. I think we're gonna get him, what, eight levels probably by the end of this? Or maybe just seven. We'll see. There we go, there's number eight. Excellent. Okay, let's see what we get. A Serpentine Gem. That's for Hydras, I think. That's awesome. I actually haven't been able to get one of those. Alright, second battle. This one. Oof. This one. This should be a route. Unless they get really lucky with Paralysis, like, this one should be much easier than uh, what I just fought. Even though that was pretty easy, for the most part. Oh, this is on a forest stage, though. They got the advantage there, for sure. But my units get to start uh, together, so... We'll see how this goes. There's my ancient dragon. Nice and huge. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Eliza now has an ancient dragon and a Bahamut. Uh, that I've uh, set up and uh, yeah this thing is uh, fire has some fire weapons so he will be doing significant damage these are silencing anomalies okay nothing I need to worry about uh, this fight all right um, all right yeah sorry I just did the first move but uh, I'll be back once uh, we're in battle guys all right they've already come forward yep here they are all right we got two kills already lined up for us let's see what the next one does I mean, their movement's insane in the forest, all these units for the most part, so... These, uh, centaurs cannot help themselves. They just can't help themselves. Just charging forward like that. Hey, man, I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, here we go. Let's get some kills. Let's do it. Um, whatever. It's a silencing anomaly. Like, who cares? It's not a big deal. There we go, we got a faint. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, alright, who do I even want to get these kills? This team is, like, really high level, so it's, uh, not super purposeful to get them a ton of experience, but... Let's see, 179... I guess Kate can probably kill that one, right? Yeah. <clears throat> we do need to get her to 30. Start working our way there. I mean, she needs, like, 2,500 more experience, so... Uh, all right, take that, and actually, I'm going to put you on this one. There we go. Aw, oh, man, you hit me. Come on, man. All right, then you, can you get the kill? Not quite. Uh, it's all right. Are you the one I gave the hit and run stuff to? Get I you are. Here we go. <laughs> perfect, man. That's perfect. All right, you can get the kill, buddy. And then move back. Oh, that's so good on an elemental. That's crazy, man. Um, all right, and then you can uh, just support. And then Eliza, your team. Let's see who needs experience. The uh, Hellhound, definitely. So, actually, Eliza herself needs experience too. Let's see. Can she kill this thing in one hit? No, of course not. That would have been crazy. Um, 167, though. Who can get this? Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Perfect. There's a level up. <clears throat> okay, you go there. And then you... You take your well-deserved kill. You gotta get used to levels. I haven't been using you very much. 
then Mr. Dragon, you're still lagging behind, unfortunately. Oh, I should have moved the Bahamut first. Oh, well. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, all right, and then Mua. Uh, you are lagging, dude. We got to get you up here, man. But we got to make sure you're protected as well, so. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't do this perfectly. Um, let's see. Can anything reach you? Not really. Well, these leaders probably can. Um, let's put you here. Hopefully they just, they don't. Um, okay, good. They didn't go for him. Excellent. Uh, they're not even attacking, dude. That's how powerful my units are. That's crazy. Man, that's bonkers. Um, I do need to be careful with these two leaders. Um, they are uh, snipers, and they have that thousand arrows ability. So, oh no! Yikes, that's bad. I may need to focus leaders down on this one. Um, yeah. We'll see. Alright. What can we do here? Um, you can come up. Use Dark Shot. Right? Yep, definitely. And then move back a couple. Perfect. Uh, and then you... Let's see. Actually, can I get a closure on... No, I don't think so. No, I didn't think so. All right, and that's a really low percent chance to hit, so we're not going to do that one. Uh, but we will put you here for sure, and uh, we'll do yeah, we'll do that. Very nice. There's our faint. Excellent. It's a good start here. 177. That a cake gets killed, frankly. Yep. Take it. Okay, um, you can stay there. Yep, stay there. I want you to be able to hit the leader, so. Um, and then you, let's see. Flame Claws, 96 damage. Um, yeah, go for it. There you go. Very nice. Hmm. Honestly, if I can get a hit with this. 91. I could probably kill her team. Yep. And a silence. Man, that's crazy. Alright. Uh, we probably need to heal that Simurg, actually. So, we'll do that. Okay. And then Eliza. Oh my god, I did not even think about that. Um, hmm. Oh boy. If I get rid of her, yeah, I can get multiple hits on that one. All right, we're going to do flame uh, on this leader. Yes. Do it. Excellent. Eighty-one. All right. There we go. That's a kill. Five forty. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I gave this uh, dragon the uh, deadly band, which gives 20% crit rate and 20% crit damage. That's bonkers, dude. Uh, yeah, this battle's already over. Yeah, I gotta be honest. Late game brigandine like this is kind of crazy. It is... Uh, the damage numbers you're throwing out are just, like, absolutely out of control uh, on leaders and other units. There we go. We got a Fenrir. Alrighty, that's two down. Let's see if we can knock out these other two just as quickly. 
Okay. There we go. We got the Basilisk upgrade material. And another Revival Stone. Alright. Number two. Or number three, rather. Let's see how this one goes. Alright, what are the deploy situation? Oh, okay, everybody's together, so no biggie on this one. It's just an open field with a few patches of, of uh, trees. Interesting.臨機応変何それ魔法学校でまあいいとにかく困ったらすぐに知らせるのだ舞台で一番頼れるモンスターをそっちに行かせるへえかいちょっと優しいとこあるんだねそうではない勝つためだ<笑> I've never fought with them together, so that was cool. All right, let's see. All right, what do we got here? Is this paralysis? Yeah, paralysis anomaly. Okay, makes sense. Um, and this is a little bit more tanky of a setup than the last one, for sure. So this might be a little uh, harder to get through, but we'll see. Um, all right, I'm going to move forward, guys, and then we'll be back uh, once I'm fighting them, all right? All right, here they come. It's always the elementals and the centaurs first. It's always their first choice. All right, yeah, yeah. These uh, elemental advantages, man, are really kicking in, dude. They're not doing a lot of damage to me. We'll say these pirates, though. No matter what, the Vikings, they're gonna be doing some damage. Gotta be careful with those. Those two. Ooh, Park Garcia is really exposed there. Oh man, do I just go for that kill right away? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of want to, but all right, let's uh, let's form up our front here. So we're gonna get a dragon right here, and then he is gonna blow them up next turn when they come forward. Oof. Okay, stand by. Uh, you can come right here. Yep, that's fine. And then you, uh, let's see, throw a boulder at something. 58, 52, 80, 57, 86, 61. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the uh, Gygas. Okay. Hmm. I think I want to kill the elemental first. Yeah, that's an easy kill. I'll just take it. Done. Uh, so that's one. Then we'll throw you here. And uh, you can take your shot, your water shot right there. Frost shot. <clears throat> okay, and then let's see, sugar. Oh, she has meteor doom. Oh my god, dude! I did not know that. I forgot. Totally forgot about that. Uh, what's Geno Frost do? I don't know if that can get anything into kill range for my friend here, but uh, we'll do it. I have a level one um, sea snake. That's a perfect, uh, perfect sea snake. I want to try to get him, try to get him some kills. So let's see if we can do that. 131, 120. Uh, he can't kill either of those, so he's gonna have to get in the front and kill the other elemental. So we'll put you here, do that. That's perfect. And then we'll throw a protect on him, uh, on the sea snake, that is. Because he's probably gonna get pelted, uh, I assume. So we'll throw you here. 
But I think he'll be okay with uh, elemental advantage and uh, protect. There we go. Very nice. We are cleaning them up already, man. Look at that. Okay, and then you need to heal something. Um, the elemental, is that the right choice? Let's see, or maybe sugar's the answer. What can hit her? Uh, we got a flame there. Uh, you can't hit her, you can't hit her. Uh, you're not close enough. Nothing. Just the flame, so she's safe. Uh, you, on the other hand, not safe. Even if they uh, hit those paral paralysis anomalies, I feel like you're not safe. So, let's see what else we got here. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? Draw a trick. Yeah, that's fine. We'll pull the uh, pull the unicorn forward. Maybe set it up for a kill. You go up one, uh, and then you have three breaths, right? You do have three breaths, so just use one now. Yeah, go for it. Excellent. And then you. 148. You know what? Uh, let's kill the hound over here. Actually. Yeah, 157. Do that. And then uh, come back. Yeah, come back over here. Block that off. Stand by, and then uh, you're good. Stand by. All right, let's see what they do. Can I survive the onslaught? They did go for the flame on the sea snake. Wow, they're really they're really going for that. I guess that is their best chance, probably. But they're just gonna be feeding her experience. Look at that. Look at this. Man. Nice. Very good. I assume the other one's probably going to come in too. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Look at that protect doing work. Look at this. Man, he's wrecking that tier too. Yeah, that was never going to work. Oh, and they've lined up so beautifully for breath. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, he did the healing roar. Wow. Okay. Dude. Dude, that ancient dragon is so powerful that their level 20 viking didn't attack it. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. All right, sure, dude. Let's uh let's start with ground fire. Holy crap. Look at this damage. That's crazy. Oh my god, that's devastating. That's so devastating. That's insane. Imagine fighting that in like multiplayer or something. That's crazy, dude. Uh, let's see. Alright, what do I want to kill? Um, you can kill the Gygus, so yeah, do that with a boulder toss. This is definitely a battle where I can maximize experience, so I'm going to do it. Good. Oh, this is going beautifully. Uh, stand by. And then you, uh, let's see, do weakness on, not that one, this guy. I didn't even check their stats. What do their stats look like? Like, how, how beefy are these guys? And how, like, agile are they? Uh, 60 agility, okay, for that one. And then what's this one? 61 agility, so not much better. Um, okay, good. Uh, let's see. Uh, what can we do here? So you can definitely come forward and get a nice little frost shot there. I think I want to get the sea snake a kill if I can. Three twenty six, one ninety four. 
Ooh, it's a little bit tougher than I thought. Um, let's see. What does Gino do to him? One th <laughs> does exactly 132. You've got to be kidding me. Um, okay. So what does a regular Frost do? 191. One twelve. Oh, oh man, it's actually tough. It's actually tough. What does Curse do? Okay, Curse can do it. Yeah, I take that. It's fine. I'm focused on experience right now. So, let us level up our giant snake. Do an Aqua Splash. Very good. There we go. Get some damage on the leader over there too. This dude, he's the one I'm making a Hydra, I think. I think that's the plan. 201, 194. Um, hmm. Let's get a Protect on you. Just to be safe. No crit. It's a shame. That is a shame. Um, alright. Alright, he's close to done. Alright, let's see. Um, Kane, you're probably gonna get that kill, actually. So, let's, uh, let's put a halo on you, dude. Why not? Yeah, there we go. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hitting my own unit. It's okay. Stand by. And then you. Um, let's go. Uh, no, not that. Uh, Frost. What can keep? What can you kill? That obviously. Uh, what is that? Squad B. What's on Squad B? What's left on Squad B? We got two Hellhounds and a Unicorn on Squad B. Um. Yeah, I have a feeling he's probably going to do his whirlwind swing. I bet. So yeah, we're going to kill him. I really don't want to deal with that. Alright, let's throw a halo on you as well. We're doing well in these fights. I thought they'd be a little tougher than this, but, you know. Uh, good gear does the job. Curse. Yeah, that, that hurts. That is gonna hurt. Um, you keep going for her. I don't know why. I guess, I mean, she is the weakest link in terms of defense, but you're never gonna hit her, though. <laughs> you know? Hmm. They went for that again. Oh, he's so done. Wow. Thirty-eight with thirty-five percent crit chance, and what would that? That would be a kill if she crits. So take it. There we go. Yes, very good. 
Looking good. All right. Awesome. Um, I think we got her two levels in this battle, actually. Uh, who's left on that squad? Just the unicorn? Yeah, forget it, man. Let's finish him. You're fun. All right. Uh, sugar. Let's see. Can I get kill or two here? Um, two or one. Yeah. Take that. Let's do a frost. Perfect. And then uh, we'll just do an aqua splash this way. That should be enough. There we go, level 10. Perfect. Alright, so that's sea serpent. Um, and then you. Or you, rather. Um, yeah. Start taking some hits on this guy. He'll be dead here. Yeah, no, he's done. Um, okay. Very good. Get our Lizard Lord that kill. Done deal. Two levels. Damn, those are good stats. Wow. Um, you're fine. Leave you. And you're fine. Alright, and then Kane's up. Let's see. Can we kill this? Yeah, we definitely can. Um, 157. One crit would do it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, actually. There it is. Okay, perfect. Um, and then, do we have another Halo? We do. Halo Kane again. Two thirty-six. Man. All right, three down. One more to go for this first round. There we go. Second level for Kane. Awesome. Man, look at that agility. That's crazy. Oh, we almost killed everything. It's another dragon upgrade material. Rival stone, excellent. Okay, this is probably the weakest of the three teams, I'd say. Well, maybe not. Okay, I'm, I'm selling these guys a little short. No, that's not true. That's not true. Oh, they're on three different sides. I did not pay attention to that. Ooh, this will be a little tougher. All right, okay, okay, okay. I see you, game. I see you, game. All right, let's see how we're going to approach this. Yeah, so we're going to have to go over the bridges. So my options are either to bait them or actually go across the bridges. Um, hmm. That is tough. I'm, I feel like bait is the answer. So, uh, all right. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna figure out what I'm going to do here. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back once I've decided and executed my strategy. Okay, here we go. They are actually coming. Interesting. I think this is going to be a three-way fight. Maybe. We'll see. It's going to be weird. I wasn't able to bait. They moved really far away. Um, so, But they are coming across over here. Uh, Ball is going to get overwhelmed, though, if I let this fly. So let's see what they do. Grand Wave. Oh no, that ability. Oh, okay. That ability is really strong, but I guess Ball is uh, pretty tanky or something. <laughs> oh man, they they went hard on him. Holy crap, man. Alright. Um, we're going to need to support. 
How do I want to do this? Yeah, no, I can't go that way. I gotta go this way. Um, I'm going through. I'm going over the bridge. We are making our way over the bridge. Let's see, who can make it further? Uh, oh, you can actually make it all the way. Very nice. Excellent. So can you. So just get over there, dude. That is priority number one. Just get up there. Hmm. Let's see. What can hit you? Lizard man. Dragon. That's about it. Maybe two lizard men? I think you'll be okay. With uh, type advantage. And then we'll get you here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Conrad squad's gotta get up there, man. It's a problem. They did poison themselves, though, which is interesting. This is definitely the most interesting of the battles, I'd say, uh, in terms of terrain and just uh, everything. <clears throat> they have a huge advantage here with this island and all their creatures being water creatures, so. Hmm. And yeah, Lunith is insane. Uh, Lunith has 10 movement. 10. Which is nuts. All right, you're fine there. Uh, let's see if we can get a paralysis actually on this guy. Um, not that one. This one. Nope. No luck. Um, that's fine. We'll throw you here. Uh, yeah, my golem has max HP too. 999. This uh, mithril golem, which is bonkers. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's their only frontliner on uh, this side, so that is very good. Uh, we'll take that. All right, let's see. All right, ball's the problem. Let's see what he can do. So can we get... Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a paralysis on this royal guard. We are not lucky. That is a damn shame. Um, okay. Oh, he has poison immu immunity. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at this critical rate. 45% crit rate. So, um, Ball is uh, my dude. So, I got him uh, this sword. And it was very difficult to get. It took me forever, actually. But, yeah. 10% crit damage. Tons of stats, of course. And then we got Swift Mantle, uh, Ancient Gauntlets, and then Deadly Medallion, which is another tw uh, the one I had on the... Uh, there's, a, there's a leader version of the same item that I had on that Ancient Dragon. So yeah, 20% crit rate. He already has a 15% additional crit rate uh, because of critical rate up B. Uh, so yeah, he is uh, very good. He also has all that magic we learned in the magic classes. Um, also, yeah, let me look at his other stats. Uh, yeah, his other stats are looking good. Strength, agility, uh, HP is really the only thing that's, uh, concerned. He has a good amount of MP for somebody who uses magic, too, so... He's, uh, he's really good. There's, uh, no other way to say that. He is really, really good. Look at this, 25%, 14%. I mean, I could just throw him in here, and he won't even get damaged. Like, it's kind of crazy. I can kill this leader right now. Literally right now. Um... Let's see. Do I want to do that, though? It's a question, I guess. Um, she did use a lot of her magic. Yeah, she can't even use Fallberg anymore. Grand Wave. Does have a chance of inflicting Paralyzed. That was why I was so worried about it. Um, okay. We'll start with this. Maybe we can get lucky with a Paralysis. There we go! Very nice. Okay, and then you will go here to Electro Shot. Yep. And then a crit would kill that. And she's dead no matter what if I swing at her. So. Hmm. <laughs> I really want experience, though. Yeah, go for this. Dang. No luck. Yep. Take it.
Yeah, I know. It's a little ballsy, but... Um, he'll be fine. He'll be okay. Uh, actually, we'll put you... Hmm. That's fine. Alright, let's see what they do on this side. Meteor Doom! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, that did not do a lot of damage. That could have been a lot worse. Oh my gosh. I don't have healing on this side, so that's bad. Yep, they're gonna heal the leader. Mmm. Mmm. That hurt. That definitely hurt. Uh, that witch didn't do anything, huh? They're gonna cure her, okay. What's she gonna do? She's going around for Grand Wave! <laughs> okay. Oh, her attack's really low. That, that could be way worse, man. That's crazy. You actually hit? Come on, man. That's crazy. Alright, that's fine. Uh, Ball's holding his own 2v1 here. <laughs> Ball Squad's looking pretty good, man. All right, let's uh, let's see. I think, I think after that meteor doom, like we're fine, dude. The only thing I have to worry about really is charm. Ooh, that's bad. Actually, thinking about that, Ooh. I might need to just go for the leader kill over here. Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, so we'll start with. Uh, we gotta move forward. They ran away too. Good move by the AI. They uh, they tried to get away. I mean, they're not actually going to get away, but they tried. They uh, put their leader in a really vulnerable position, too, there. Which, frankly, is okay with me. Take that kill. Good job, my friend. Ooh, very nice. And you, you can't reach anything, so just get up here. And then you. This is, uh, this is gonna be very, very good. Um, man, I'm, I can just wreck these leaders. This is kind of crazy. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm pretty confident I can kill, uh, that, that witch over there. I'd say. Two eighty five, yeah. Okay. So she's dead, if I will it so. Yeah, take her. I don't really care about the experience on this side, so stand by. Um, and then let's see. I guess we can try to kill this elemental. It's probably not gonna happen, but we can try. We can try. Maybe though, giant punisher. Yeah, okay. We'll get the uh, we'll get the demon to kill. That's actually really good. Um, I want to get. I, <laughs> I really do want to get a Lilith. Um, it's like one thing in this playthrough I've not done a good job with is angels and demons. I don't have very many of them, um, and the ones I have aren't super leveled. So. Okay, take you out. Sweet. Look at that intelligence, dude. That is so crazy. I. It's just like... That's bonkers, man. That's bonkers. Alright. Uh, we're down to two squads over here. Um, dude, if this was... If this wasn't a water battle... Man, this would be Geno Flame City right now. But... Yeah, this is no good. It's a waste of, uh, waste of the magic. Um, Alright, let's see. Refined Yato Blade. That's a kill if that crits. Um, or I could do... Or, sorry. Yeah, that is a kill. Regardless of it critting. What's the cost? 60, 140. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do this. Yeah, take it. Definitely. Alright, that's a level after the battle. Sweet. Um, alright. The rest of this is precarious, though, for sure. Um, you... I think I want to try to get you with the paralysis. No dice. 
Um, and then you can move back one or two, rather. And we'll get you up in this fray. Yep, that's fine. That's okay. And then Mr. Elemental is uh, probably going to run back. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll throw you here, yeah. Go ahead and uh, hit those two. 104, yeah, sure. Oh no. No! Oh, that's bad. Okay, I have a cure though. I have a cure over there. Man, that's crazy. Oh, Jesus. I need to kill that siren. Holy crap. There's the Meteor Doom. Yep, I knew that was coming. Uh, that one hurt a little bit more. Not too bad though. Man, their they're intelligence sucks. Okay. Then are you gonna heal? No, you're just gonna run. Uh, oh, she's going for the back line. Oh no. Oh man, she's a pain. This is a pain. This is a pain. And I'm sure the lizard, the uh, high lizard guard, or whatever the hell they're called. Oh, went for the leader. Oh yeah, because he's charmed, of course. Yep. Need to kill that. Excellent. That is so perfect. No, that's a bad call. Um, God, I really want to go where the man eater is, but I can't. So just go there. And then we'll do a strong numb powder that won't kill it. What about this? Will you kill it? 181, no. I'd have to do both. Um, 100, 224, 192, there's the kill. Yep, do it. That's good. Okay, uh, do I want to go for the kill on the leader right now? 242, not particularly. Yeah, I'll let her live one more round. <laughs> Alright, this is not great over here, the situation. Uh, I'm probably going to lose this Pegasus. More than likely. Because he cannot heal himself, so. But, we do have a good uh, electro shot right here. Yeah, that's, oh, it's fantastic. <clears throat> and then we got Gorgon Gaze. Oh my god, that's crazy, dude. Wow, um... Sure. Oh, no! Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's so bad. Um, alright. Man, that blows. Wow, that's crazy. Yep, let's try it. No kill. Wow, man. Come on. I'm getting really unlucky. 
Nice level up, though. Oh, my God. Ball's crazy, dude. He He's definitely going to be on the final team. There's, like, zero question of that at this point. Um, no, I can do, yeah, I can almost do two reacts. Holy crap, that's crazy, dude. Take it. Take it, ball. Yep. Unless he uh, defends, which he didn't. 534, oh my gosh. Curse. Ooh, wow. That's some damage right there. All right, this battle's pretty much over. They're almost out of attacking units. <sighs> Come on, Pegasus. You can do it. You can live. You can live, please. I guess I can just revive it, but... Okay, thank God. I know, uh, I know revival stones aren't, like, a cure-all, though, because they lose their, they lose their, um, equipment if they die, so I really don't... I'd really love to avoid that if I can, so... 189, oh my God. Um, let's see... Oh, I have Divine Ray. Oh, she's done. Yep. All right, Patricia. Let's get a Halo up on you. You need levels more than anybody, really. Um, nope, not Area Heal. Divine Ray. Bye-bye. Yep, she's going to hit 20. Is that a... Uh... Is that max proficiency? No, it's not. All right, it's okay. Okay, Centaur, you take your kill. There. Very good. Like, I almost don't even want to move him, but might as well. Just in case. He's necessary. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh my god. Look at that movement. That's crazy, dude. Holy crap. I love it. Okay. Alright. Uh, Mr. Pegasus, just, just get out, dude. Like, just get out of here. You're not... You're not needed anymore. You've done your job. And then we'll get a kill here. It's perfect. Yeah, I think at a 272... Um, that will be, yeah, let's see if we can get that, yeah, 272 would be two reacts, so, that's sweet. Uh, if he crits and she doesn't block, she's dead. Goodbye. Peace. Well fought. Alright, that went pretty well. That team is beastly. Ball's team. Okay, Dunzo. Got another Lizard Man medal. Another Revival Stone. Awesome. Okay, we got some new places to go to. All right. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, garbage. 
Garbo, total Garbo. Um, all right, uh, so we have done the first phase of these uh, Phantasm fights. We are now in phase two, which is a lot harder. Uh, most units are, all units are level 30, as you guys can see here. This is bonkers, 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 bonkers. So, uh, and they are a little bit more diverse in terms of, um, in terms of their, uh, elemental properties. So, I'm gonna have to diversify my teams a little bit. This is not gonna be nearly as easy to take down, so... Um, yeah, we got some blue here, white, green, uh, then we get some centaurs, which are green, and then we get some, some, uh, neutrals in the golems. Let's see what this one looks like. Uh, this one's actually mostly green, so this might be one. Yeah, we got green there, green there, and then, uh, black here, which is the only different color besides the pegasus, the three pegasus. Um, let's see what else we got. Let's go through all of them here real quick uh, before we go. Um, this one's oh my god, oh my god, that's kind of crazy, man. This is ridiculous. So we got uh, three blue leaders, all royal guards, um, and then it's a bunch of reds and neutrals in the Gigases, uh, and a little bit of white there. So interesting, interesting. It's almost like they're designing it so the leaders you might bring or uh, any like. Uh, greens you bring to kill the leaders are gonna be nullified by the reds on their teams but yeah look at this white just full-on white uh, this one okay so this this one's a little straightforward too so this one shouldn't be too hard um, and then where's the last one at I'm missing it here it is Ilvani. Uh this one is blue 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 but they have two red leaders, so this is the trap, right? If I were to bring a whole shitload of green units, right, these two leaders would be impossible to kill. Just, like, so hard to kill, particularly this Viking. Look at that agility, 100, dude. 100 agility on this guy. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Um, and then we got a treasure, uh, treasure hunter. So, and this battlefield, is this the one? Yes. This is the battlefield. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I'm wrong. Uh, Phantom Field. What's the Phantom Field here? Yeah, oh, okay, it's the same. But you'll see that my deployment zones are all on the outside, and they're all in the middle. So they could literally converge on one of the teams, uh, a team potentially, and just wipe them out, wipe them out. So I need to be very careful with um, that one. That battle is probably the hardest one, uh, in my opinion. Uh, in my opinion. This one... This one's split as well, but um, I should be able to pinch them, hopefully, and then uh, that shouldn't be too bad. This one, uh, same thing, should be able to pinch that, not too hard. Um, and then we've got, let's see, Meraniel. Uh, this one's a little tougher, yeah, this one's a little tougher, because my I, you'll, I'll have two squads high up, and then one really far down there, so I'm going to need something really high speed, so... Uh, these fights look interesting, for sure. Um, this is going to be a challenge, this Tier 2. Um, of course, I am going to be uh, grinding probably a bit, because my... I mean, I don't have any level 30 leaders, and none of my creatures are even remotely close to level 30, so I definitely need to do some grinding on the Tier 1 battles um, in order to get myself prepared for this um, at, to, the most, to the best I can. So I will be doing that off-screen, though. Um, I won't be doing that here on the Let's Play, so... Um, so I'm going to be doing that, but that's going to be it for this episode. We got through four battles. They weren't too tough. None of them really. Uh, the last one was probably the most interesting one in terms of strategy, um, for me, but, uh, it's a fairly lengthy episode here too. I think we were, we we're at about an hour and a half or so. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the four battles we did. Um, I would say we are probably three or four episodes out from the end here. Um, I, I, I may split these Tier 2 fights into two episodes, since there's five of them, uh, depending. Uh, we'll see how it goes. If I can clear out the first couple really fast, then I may do them all in one episode, but that's really going to be hit or miss, depending on the fights. So, uh, we'll see about that, and then, uh, yeah. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I, uh, you know, if you guys are interested in more content from this channel... 
I do a weekly podcast with my co-hosts, uh, my two co-hosts, where we talk about video game news and things around the video game industry. It's called The Player's Take. It posts on Fridays on all the major podcast platforms, and then it's on Mondays here on YouTube. Um, you can check that out here on the channel. We have about, I'd say, 20 episodes maybe up on YouTube or so. Uh, but there are is a total of 82 or, or so on the main podcast feeds if you want to go all the way back to the beginning and check those out. So, uh, so yeah, check that out. And, uh, yeah, I hope, you, uh, I hope you're enjoying this content. If you are, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know how your playthroughs are going. Uh, or if you have any uh, thoughts on my strategy or anything like that, leave a comment, and I will most certainly uh, interact with you guys there. So... Um, looking forward to that. So that's it for this one, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. All right.